Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. You know, this is a true story. Okay? I'm going to tell this story okay. real quick right. before we close out. You know, I, I was uh, with one of my students, and um, uh, my student asked me, what do you think about Saudi Arabia, and a teacher? And I said, well, I love Saudi Arabia, but the only thing I don't like about it is the racism. She goes, and she goes what do you mean, racism? There's no racism here. I said, uh, if you had a daughter, right? Would you let your daughter marry a Bengali? You know what my students said? Mm. No teacher, it's not that we're racist, it's that we're better than them. <laughs> SubhanAllah. We'll lie to them. We'll lie to them. The same statement of shaitan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's racism. <laughs> that's crazy. But that's man. how they think, uh. right? So we are now teaching the Muslim world what racism is and what racism isn't because but that's why Allah has given us hidayah right yeah it's not just so that um, uh, we can be giving um, guidance towards Islam it's that mm. we can guide these Muslims towards a better way mm. because they can't see how this deen should be practiced because it's pol it's polluted and clouded by their culture Culture, yeah it's just become a, a thing to do because yeah. your parents did it but <laughs> for but for us it's life even in Qatar, mm -hmm. we would go to the beaches mm -hmm. and some of the sisters, they would be on the beach and uh, on the women's side. Mm -hmm. And um, when they were told to cover up because there's a man there, mm -hmm. like, oh, he's not a man, he's just a Hindi. Yeah. He's just an Indian yeah. guy. Yeah. They don't even yeah. look at them as humans. Like human, human beings, yeah. yeah. I would see so much discrimination. I. I don't know how anybody could live in a place like that mm -hmm. without getting themselves in trouble mm -hmm. because y all you do is turn a, bli a blind eye towards discrimination. Yeah. I would literally test it just to see how bad it was. Mm -hmm. Security guards, police officers that were expats, mm -hmm. flick their ear from behind. Mm -hmm. They would only assume that a Qatari would do this. They're too scared to even turn around. Really? And they're a voice of authority. Really? They wouldn't even turn around. Mm -hmm. There was um, an Indonesian couple who had a baby that was maybe about one, not even one. Mm -hmm. It was in like a carriage and mm -hmm. they were at Applebee's. Mm -hmm. We were all at Applebee's. It's a non-smoking restaurant. Mm -hmm. They're sitting there and they're at the table celebrating somebody's birthday and they have the baby here. Mm -hmm. This group of 10 white dish dashers mm -hmm. wearing these stoves, they come sit in, start smoking cigarettes. And he looks at the Indonesian family and gives them a dirty look. Maybe they're Malaysian mm -hmm. or Filipino, Filipino, mm -hmm. yeah. Smoking cigarette, blowing it towards the baby. Wow. Intentionally blowing it towards the baby. Wow. And then this guy is like uh, angry, showing anger on his face, the, the, the Filipino man. Mm -hmm. But he can't do nothing. Because yeah. they'll either deport you mm -hmm. or they'll tell lies about you and have you put in prison, have yep. your head cut off. Mm -hmm. So. The woman who works there, she's Filipino too. Mm. And she goes, sir, excuse me, this is not a smoking restaurant. He takes and blows it right in her face. Wow, man. They're above the law because it's their country. Yep. You are the slaves who are working for them. Mm -hmm. So I go over there and I was like, put it out. Mm -hmm. And then he starts to like, And then after that, I was like, put it out. And I took the cigarette and I threw it on the ground. Mm -hmm. And one thing led to another, I had to flee the country. <laughs> <laughs> but... At least you stood up. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like, I, that's what I mean. If you're going to live in countries like that, I don't mm. know how somebody can go extended periods of time mm. and not collect sins just by turning a blind eye towards evil. Mm. Because you, you will see it everywhere. Mm. I'm sure you see it even in Saudi. Oh, yeah. You see it so much and you, you have to stop yourself from doing something yeah. because you'll get yourself in trouble mm -hmm. and you have a family to come back home to. 
Now, about Saudi, I don't want anybody to get the wrong impression. I know it's not me. like Qatar. Yeah, well, maybe, yeah. I haven't been to Qatar, you know, but uh, I've, heard, I've heard the stories, you know. Yeah. But look, like, Saudi does get a bad rap, I think, unjustly. That's my opinion. But Saudi is a country like any other country. They have their good and they have their problems, you know. I don't want anybody to think I'm, I'm bashing Saudi. That's not, that's not what I'm doing. I'm telling the reality of what I experienced in terms of racism in Saudi Arabia. Every time I went to Saudi, I had a wonderful time. It yeah. was nothing mm. like Qatar. Mm. Nothing like Qatar. Like mm. Qatar, we used to coin the, a term for these people called Qatar did. <laughs> because the things that they do makes no sense. Mm. But Saudi, I've never had a problem. Mm. Not once. I've never experienced racism over there. Mm -hmm. Nobody's ever treated me like less of a human being. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that stuff exists, but I've never experienced it there. Yeah. People yeah. always treated me with love and respect. Yeah. But, I mean, that Canadian passport, it helps. You know? <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, it's true. People Straight get judged up. by their passports. Yeah. If you were Mohammed the, uh, the Chadian and not Mohammed the Canadian, that'd be a completely different story you'd be telling, man. Mm. Yeah. But anyway. Zach Lohair, bro. Why, Thank yeah. you so much, man. Anytime. This, we got to do it again. Yeah, absolutely. With uh, more or um, have a structured thing that these people can actually benefit from. Yeah. As I think um, it's important to have dialogue like yeah, this. Yeah, as long as as long as the stories are getting out there, man. Hundred percent. Now is the time to do it. The world yeah. sees us because of you know George mm -hmm. Floyd now. So you know imagine I mean? imagine the things that we're saying instead of judging these and looking us as. Um, something less because it's happening to black people imagine these things that i'm telling you these stories that i'm telling you imagine they were happening to you and you didn't choose anything that caused them to happen to you imagine it was happening to you because you're an arab or because you're a pakistani or because you're white or because you you were born in a certain place or because you speak a certain language nothing you chose mm -hmm. imagine it was happening to you how would you feel about that and it's also being perpetrated by people who are supposed to be far away from any of these things and even furthermore supposed to be taking the world away from these things. That sounds very bad, yeah. That's exactly. the scary part. Exactly. Something to reflect on. All right, guys. Thank you so much. No problem, brother. You know, I love right. it for the sake of Allah. I love and you I too, mean bro. it from my heart. Allah. It's not just one of those inshallah type of love. It's real love. All right. <laughs> You know what? In life, nah, uh, uh, don't cover the charge by. Hey, whoa! Don't charge the the cover. Charge the book. I man, don't don't book the cover. Book. Hey, don't whatever. Don't do it. Just don't do it.